a Salawam Akim, Salawam. <clears throat> Before I say anything, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Kadash, I which is to say the Heavenly Father's true name, in the name of His only begotten Son, I right, in the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, all right, and honestly, Akim, uh, do, uh, that's doing the work in sincerity and in truth, that's, that's continuing the fight and endure in, here in these last days. Okay, now, <clears throat> uh, in this lesson, I'm just going to uh, bring out how, all right, the prophets, all right, which the Heavenly Father have has has always used, all right, uh, <clears throat> in the ancient world, all right, uh, there was a time they were called seers, okay, seers, all right, so I'm, I'm going to get into that. I'm just gonna uh, go right into it. I'm gonna start with First uh, Samuel's uh, chapter nine and nine. All right. And it says, <clears throat> "Before time in Israel, in uh, who's Israel? Israel <clears throat> are referring to you, Israelites. All right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans." You make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, all right? Israel uh, being the name after uh, Jacob's name was changed uh, after he uh, fought and prevailed uh, against the angel, man. Okay, so it means he's the son of the Most High, all right? It says, before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of the Most High, thus he spake, Come and let us go t to the seer. All right, for he that is now called a prophet was before call, was before time called a seer. All right, so those who were be being called uh, prophets before time or before they were called seers. All right, and 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 what did they see? Let's get Hosea. All right. 12 and 10 This is Hosea 12 and 10 I have also spoken by the prophets That's how the Heavenly Father speaks That's how you will hear the words Of the Most High It's through His men, His prophets And I have multiplied visions And used similitudes By the ministry of the prophets Okay So the Heavenly Father He said He have spoken by the prophets have and have multiplied visions. All right, so let's get that word for vision. That word for vision. <clears throat> okay. The word for vision. Uh, Chazawan. Okay, a vision. All right. An ecstatic state, night. Vision, an, an oracle, a prophecy, all right, a divine uh, communication. Okay. Vision, a sight, all right, a sight. Okay, a dream, revelation, or oracle, vision. All right, so the, the word again, chazawan. Uh, all right, which means uh. Uh, a, vi a vision or or oracle prophecy, man, prophecy. The prophets were 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 shown uh, prophecy by the Most High. All right, which prophecy means uh, 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 a foretelling. All right, things saying things saying what's gonna happen before it happens, and the, these men, all right, seen seen the vision. Okay, so they seen what was for to come. Okay, let's get let's get the next one. Numbers twelve and six. I said and and he said, "Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make myself known unto him in a vision." 
and will speak unto him in a dream. All right, that's how that's how he deals. All right, you hear brothers, uh, you know, having visions or dreams. They're really visions, man, from the Lord. Okay, let's read it again. And he said, "Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, Yahweh, will make myself known unto him in a vision." And that also proves, um, when the Most High, uh, um. You know, if there is a prophet among you, the Heavenly Father is going to deal with him. He's going to raise him up, whether, wherever uh, he may be, all right? Because we're scattered across the four winds, all right? All over the earth, okay? <clears throat> but <laughs> wherever that man is, hey, the Lord is going to, he's going to make his, himself known unto him, all right? And, and he's going to reveal unto him, unto him his secrets, all right? And give him uh, understanding of him. Okay, so <clears throat> that's how the Heavenly Father deals, man. Okay, and what happened uh, when these prophets were sent? Um, let me get this case in uh, Samuel's first Samuel sixteen. They're like, man, you gonna come? You gonna come for peace or or what? Because when the prophets would emerge or or would the heavenly father would send them it's uh they didn't they they knew that the people knew that hey, it means either means uh destruction is gonna come all right or that they wanted to know man you you coming in peace or what you know because the, 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 the prophets were a, a big deal man all right and then and people would, would be afraid when the prophet would be uh, uh, sent 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 out. Okay, so let's get it. This is uh, First Samuel sixteen. I'll start at start at three. It says, "And called Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show show thee what thou shalt do, and thou shalt anoint unto me him whom I who I name unto thee." And Samuel did that which the Lord spake, and came to Bethlehem, and the elders of the town trembled at his coming. Okay, you see that? Because Samuel was a prophet. Samuel was one of the uh, the great uh, 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 prophets, man. All right, hence all right, the the, uh, the the first and second book of Samuel, and it says, um, and Samuel did that, and Samuel did that which the Lord spake. And came to Bethlehem, and the elders of the town trembled at his coming, okay, and said, Comest thou peaceably? <laughs> and he said, Peaceably, I am come to sacrifice unto the Lord. Sanctify yourselves and come and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sacrificed Jesse and his sons of Slakia, not sacrificed, sanct uh, sanctified. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons. And called them to the sacrifice. All right. So people wanted to know, man. You know, they would they would tremble, man. You know, because they would, they would have to uh, deal with deal with the heavenly Father, man, and deal with his his uh, message. Okay, and whatever it was to come after. <clears throat> but in this time, the prophets. What are we prophesying of? What we prophesy? This is Jeremiah twenty-eight and eight. You know, well-known uh, scripture, and oldie but a goodie. All right. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. All right. Are we prophesying against Mount Seir? All right, which which is a um, a city of Edom. We are to prophesy against against these other nations, man. All right, our main enemy being uh. uh uh, you Edomites, man, you you devils. All right, starting with your elite, man. All right. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms. Isn't uh uh just place a great kingdom? All right. But I digress. It says of war and of evil and of pestilence. All right. And the and the father hath prophesied and sent men out, man. Alright, starting with uh, our apostles, man, and, and, and their elders. 
okay, to prophesy and to chant against this place, okay, and and, and to tell of what's to come. All right, it's gonna do all all the, what's what's to come before uh, war breaks out and ICBM missiles hit this soil, man. You know, and there's nothing there's nothing good um, coming to this place, man. Hey, and Isaiah. He spoke of it, man. All right, and he, he spoke of the things which which some heavenly father showed him. And I'm gonna get it. This is Isaiah 14. I'll read from the top. <clears throat> so lucky, 13. I'm, I'm in 13. <clears throat> it says the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. All right, so Isaiah is seeing this. He's seeing this. Okay. Why? Because the Heavenly Father deals with visions, man. All right, and he and 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 he deals. It's like we just read in uh, Hosea. He says, "I have multiplied uh, visions, all right, and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets." All right, so it says, "Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake their hand, that they may go into the gates of the nobles." All right, and what's the banner that's being lifted up? The banner is this truth, all right, the, the 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 holy Bible, man, upon the high mountain, which is this place, uh, uh, America, all right. Mountains in the scriptures represent governments, okay. It says I have commanded my sanctified ones, all right, which is speaking of of, of the angels. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my in my highness. The noise of a multitude. In the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts, much of the hosts of the battle. Okay, and this is speaking of, of the missiles, man. All right, because missiles, ICBM missiles, are, uh, 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 that are, <clears throat> most I said, he was going to send arrows on this place, man. Speaking of those missiles, man. All right, for all this, why? For all this great uh, wickedness. All right, that it parades and promotes around the world, man. All right. They come from a far country, from the end of the earth, from the end of the of heaven. Even the Lord and the weapons of His indignation to destroy the whole land. All right, and what's the weapons of the heavenly Father's uh, indignation? It's, it's uh. What you would call intercont intercontinental um, ballistic missile. Okay, those are the weapons of the Lord's uh, indignation, man. And he's also going to make his men um, weapons a a as well. I believe that's spoken of in um, the book of Jeremiah. Okay. It says, How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. And that's what it's going to be. A great, great, heavy, uh, devastating destruction, man, that the, that the Heavenly Father is going to bring upon this place, man. Okay, it says, Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt, man. And they shall be afraid, pains and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. All right? They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Okay? And this is a, the vision, or, uh, uh, yes, a vision that, that the Heavenly Father showed Isaiah, man, all right, of missiles hitting this place, man, 